Vincent O'Shauna's statement delves deeply into the concern surrounding the perceived neglect by political leaders towards crucial issues like border security and immigration controls. So today, after cuckboy Mike Johnson sold out on his promise to secure the border before giving Ukraine any more funding, he gave them over $60 billion, Israel $26 billion, and Taiwan $8 billion, while illegals continue to flood into our country without end. And because of this, January 6th resonates with me today more than ever before. It stands as a glaring testament to why agencies like the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security conveniently overlooked intelligence that foretold the chaos of that day. It explains why individuals such as Ray Epps, the non-FBI asset, incited a riot but was only charged with a misdemeanor. This day also illuminates why for the past three years, the Department of Justice has relentlessly pursued anyone who was present at or even near the Capitol, aiming to incarcerate them. The reason? Corrupt and evil politicians who betray us daily fear our presence in Washington, protesting their deceit and manipulation. They seed fear in our hearts, hoping it'll paralyze us, allowing them to further dismantle this country while we remain as spectators, watching helplessly as it crumbles. So after the events of today, it is more obvious than ever that there is no difference between the Republican and Democratic parties. There is no left, there is no right, there's only the uniparty and its united desire to rob our country blind. All I can say is thank God our founding fathers gave us the first and second amendments. It's us against them. And while they take our 95 billion, they can have these as well. I'm out. His critique of the foreign aid spending bill resonates with democratic principles of national sovereignty and fiscal prudence, especially amidst the ongoing immigration challenges. Vincent O'Shauna's characterization of Jane Rue Six as a glaring testament reflects his interpretation of the event as emblematic of political betrayal and governmental malfeasance. The populist voice is discontent with selective law enforcement and the portrayal of specific individuals in the media, including Ray Epps. His assertion that there exists no substantial disparity between Republicans and Democrats reflects a broad conservative indictment of established political norms and his perception of a uniparty prioritizing self-interest over the welfare of the American populace. The stress on the significance of the First and Second Amendments underscores a democratic belief in the indispensability of freedom of expression and the fundamental right to bear arms as vital safeguards against governmental overreach.